Good everyone, you're watching Read Your Fixes. In this video, I'm going to talk about how to fix blank get help app window in your Windows 11 machine. Now, the first step, what I would suggest you to do is I would suggest you to go ahead and repair your Microsoft Store. To do this, you will have to type Microsoft Store in the search window. You will see a best match for Microsoft Store. Do a right click on Microsoft Store and then click on app settings. This should open the app settings for Microsoft Store. Now, you need to scroll down to the extreme bottom and choose the option which says terminate basically you're trying to end all the microsoft store processes on the computer once you click on terminate then you may go ahead and click on repair this will try to repair the microsoft store component on your computer once the repair is complete you may go ahead and close this window and then try to open the get help app on your computer and check if you are able to open get help app on your computer in case if it works well and good you don't have to try the next step now in spite of this if you're still facing a problem the next step what i would suggest you to do is to reset the get help app on your computer now to do this you will have to go ahead and type get help in the search window and then do a right click once you have the best match for get help and then click on app settings once you're on the app settings for get help you will have to scroll down and click on terminate to end all the processes for get help and then click on repair once the repair is complete you may go ahead and click on reset and then click on reset so this will go ahead and repair and reset the get help app component on your windows machine once the repair and the reset is completed you may close this window and then try to open get help and see if it is still bang now in case if you are able to see information you're good to go you don't need to try the next step now in spite of trying all this step and if you're still facing a problem next step what you could do is you could go ahead and update your windows on your computer to do this you will have to do a right click on the start button and then click on settings once you're on the settings you will have to go ahead and click on windows update on the windows update to the right hand side you will see an option which says check for the update you might see a message saying that you are up to date however if you still see the message go ahead and check the option which says check for the updates now what this will do is this will go ahead and check if there are any available updates for your computer now in case if there are any updates to be installed on the computer you will have to go ahead and install those updates and then restart your computer once the restart is complete you may go ahead and close this window and then try to open get help and see if it is working now in spite of all this step and if you're still facing a problem the next step what i would suggest you to do is go ahead and uninstall the get help app from your computer to do this uh, you will have to open powershell window so in the search window you may go ahead and type powershell you will see the apps for windows powershell do a right click on it and then click on run as administrator that should open powershell once you're on the powershell you will have to copy and paste the command i will also mention this command in the video description so you will have to go ahead and copy the command so basically this is the command to go ahead and remove powershell from your computer and you need to hit enter once you hit enter that will go ahead and uninstall powershell from your computer once the uninstallation is complete you will have to restart your computer then open microsoft store once you're on the microsoft store you will have to go ahead and look for the get help app on your computer in the search window you may go ahead and type get help once the get help app has been uninstalled you would see an option to go ahead and install the app in my case i haven't uninstalled the get help completely for the demonstration purpose however once the get help has been uninstalled you would see an option for get help and install the app on from the microsoft store once that is done restart your computer and check if your issue has been resolved basically this should resolve the problem now in spite of trying all this step and if you're still facing a problem the next step what i would suggest you to do is i would suggest you to run an sfc scan on your computer to run an sfc scan you will have to open the command prompt by typing cmd in the search window and once you have the best match for command prompt you will have to do a right click and then click on run as administrator in case if you get a user access control prompt you may click on yes or continue on the screen now on the command prompt window you will have to go ahead and type the command sfc space forward slash scan now one word and hit enter so this will go ahead and run the sfc scan on the computer once all the process processes or verification steps are completed you will have to go ahead and restart your computer and then try to open get help window and that should definitely fix the problem in spite of trying all this step and if you're still facing a problem i would suggest you to leave me a comment in the comment section so that i can come up with the possible solution i hope this video was useful in case if you like this video please make sure to hit the like button and do not forget to subscribe to my channel thank you have a great day